Thank you. you. Got no question? You want to go up on her? No, she won't. Uh, <laughs> Tasha. 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 Hey, you got all the chicks calling in, man. Hey, man. <laughs> What's going on, Tasha? Dry. You see, I'm on live. I'm live and ain't get disturbed. <laughs> 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 you want? You want? Oh, you coming out? You coming out to see her? Um, at lit. Okay. I think we, I'm going to lit tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls are going to Oh, come on. <laughs> Tasha said she coming. <laughs> All right. She said, pull up. Tasha, come get an autograph. Pull up. I want a hug. I'm you want a hug? Tasha, you know, an I was saying that. Going to get the hug in a, in a picture. Okay. That all come with the autograph. Picture. Kiss on the cheek. You about to have a dating. <laughs> For <laughs> real. They going, they going in right now. <laughs> but yeah, though, what? Ain't no dude calling in yet. I, I told you, baby, you scared of me, man. That's what I was thinking. I was like, hey. that's how you look. The guys must be intimidating. Oh. I told you. Not, hey, you see, I asked my question all the real. She just ain't giving me no answer. Okay. <laughs> Y'all gotta call in and ask that question. Hey man, y'all call in, y'all playing, man. Read, text somebody. Through, seven, For real, nine, all these. Text <laughs> somebody, let me get my other phone. <laughs> 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 Hold on. God, these motherfuckers ain't playing. These niggas, why y'all all on Facebook watching this shit? Call in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Gotta, I gotta text somebody in the next room or something. Y'all better call in, man. These niggas here tripping. I got somebody to call in, man. I need that. I need. I need that. That question, yeah. Y'all been paying attention to hip hop news. What y'all think about that boy uh, Six Nine, man? Oh man, that's. He done snitched on Cardi and uh, Jim. He snitched on Cardi. How does that has anything to do with what he got going on, though? That Rico. So the more you snitch, the more you get freedom. Yeah, no. Is that what they think? <laughs> I don't think he gonna get freedom right away. They never do. If he get freedom, he over with. They say he's supposed to get released in January. Uh, yeah. Who that? Six nine. Uh, you trying to find a? You trying to? So <laughs> Yeah, I'm on a I'm on a whole another I'm on a whole another mission. Y'all playing. What you saying for twenty twenty? You think if he get out it ain't gonna last? Rock crew with he'll with they don't What his name? Tory Lane said he would work with him. He was like, Oh, I'll work with him. I don't, I don't think I don't think I don't think it's rap career over with because so the white white people don't give a fuck if you're a snitch or not they gonna buy yeah, your music. Oh, man, people out there chasing so much clout, man, they gonna run to get a future from. Yeah. Yeah. But he probably he probably don't lost a, a a little bit of the hood, but the white people is where you getting his bag at anyway. See, just for clout, man, the, the same hood motherfuckers gonna run behind. Him, you think so? I think so. I they just think... better watch what they do around them. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, while they chasing the clout, they just better watch what they do around them. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I was saying, the hood embrace snitches every day, so I don't put nothing past them. I don't put nothing past them. Yeah. Because hey. Because he got a fan base, you know what I'm saying? They hey, man, they fuck with snitches anyway, so why not fuck with them? There's probably a lot of rappers that snitch and nobody knows. 
Maybe they be knowing. They be knowing. Okay, they're gonna read. Read talking now. You talking? Yeah. Baby. Okay. <laughs> nah, it's probably. Uh, you you might see. I might have seen it. So you gotta wait. Some, some <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, see how and the money go. That boy went all the way into the. All the way in back. <laughs> you know, meets business. Know you so got you just gonna just jump off off real Ti? I think Ti. <laughs> I ain't Nobody talking on T.I. situation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we want an interview with T.I., man. I ain't the talking on T.I. situation. I'm fucking with T.I. <laughs> T.I. show me a black and white what that man did. I'm fucking with T.I. <laughs> I have a friend of mine that served him in his family um, at um, Volcano Bay. They gave him, out of a $600 uh, check, gave him $20, though. They served him what? Just serve him, liquor. Oh, oh. He gave him $20 tips. So he ain't got to serve him. 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 He I'm like, serve him what? <laughs> and clarify that. $600, Ooh. what are you buying? <laughs> I'm like, what T.I. buying? T.I. still buying quarters? You better stop that shit. <laughs> he better cut that shit out. I'm about to be like, read that. That nigga snitching. Nigga buying quarters, you snitching. Got way too much money to be in the hood fucking around trying to buy a QP. <laughs> Try to set the little people up. Let them boys live, T.I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you gonna set the look. But you gonna set dumb up. Yeah, you worse than the government. <laughs> you gonna go <laughs> No man man trying to come up all they did, you trying to go put them in jail. <laughs> that nigga probably don't got nothing born out, you trying to put that man in jail. <laughs> You dead ass wrong. You know he gonna take a plea. <laughs> nah, she was talking about T.I. serving food. What he no, was a waitress? He, yeah, he paid like he tipped the server like twenty dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, so you just putting him out there? He cheap. Basically, yeah. Same thing about Boosie too, but y'all just no, putting no, everybody out there. You are black tea. You, you stop at Walmart. Can't nobody. Can't nobody. Said, how you gonna be rich and spend all your money? Yeah, I, I feel like can't nobody tell nobody how much to tip. You know what I'm saying? Especially being like up there in the game. You never knew like pretty much like what an artist had to go through. You know what I'm saying? After showing so much love, and you know what I'm saying? Like and we burning that bridge. Really make it. Though. You know what I'm saying? You be burnt out of that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody tell you how much you gotta tip. Everybody trying to tell you how much you gotta tip. You be burnt out of that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Sticking their hand out to you, especially when they never even showed no love. Whatever you like, I have people that'll run up and never showed no love or support or whatever towards my music or want me to do something for them. Like, but I'm all for like elevating the on stuff. I reach out, you know what I'm saying? I do it because I feel like this is no matter how much shade and hate that you throw at me, like I know what I'm doing. <coughs> like, I stand because I know the passion and the work that I'm putting behind me. You know what I'm saying? Like. So I don't care for all that. But, yeah, like, it's, whatever he wanted to that's what he wanted to took. That man probably burnt out. Like, going from different city to city. Like, you got to think about it. It's 50 states in the U.S. Plus all other countries. Everywhere he go, a bitch going to have a hand out. Every time he jump off the plane, a bitch going to have a hand out. So you got to learn how to spread that love. That's still $20 more than what she came to work with. Mm, that's right. Yeah, me, I got a, I got a, um, I got a limit. I tip everywhere I go. Yeah, but you $5. Nah, I tip it wherever I go, but it's $5. You ain't getting, you ain't getting no more than $5. I don't give a fuck if I ate $100 worth of food. $200 worth of food, you ain't getting $5. Unless somebody else is going to tip with me, you might get a little more. Sometimes the service be bad for real, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your service bad, you ain't getting a damn thing. See, they service might be bad. And T.I. still gave him $20. Yeah, the service probably, yeah, you right about that, though. The service probably was bad. All right, how much you be, t- how much you be tipping in, Stone? It all depends. Like, $5. I feel, I feel five, but it's, 
Could be a bad little chick. I'll give her a dud. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, okay. All right, y'all see stunner. Y'all come through. Y'all bad. Y'all think y'all bad. Go to that table and try to get that twenty. You flirt a little bit long, but lady, you know. Yeah, go, go, go get that thought. Well, go back to what you said. I agree with you. Like when people don't, people they don't respect your music or they don't need nothing. But once you feel like you got money, they like, yo, I need help for rent. Like. Buy a ticket to come out to your show. You know what I'm saying? Come out to your shows and nothing. But as soon as they see you, they want you to throw some or put some in their hand. Like it's not all about just because a person does. You know what I'm saying? And, and they up at the top that every time you want across. Hey, big call in. Hand, call in, big. So I feel like it's good. even for Ti to come to Florida and Orlando, Florida, that it took twenty dollars. You still got to think about all the other spots he's gonna hit that's in Florida. Plus all the other places he's gonna go to the next day after that. The next day after that. The next day after that, you pretty much don't want to just be out there just cashing out your money. You want people that's not even that's what I'm saying. Like, that's not even booking tickets to come to your shows, you know what I'm saying? When you're down the street or whatever, you know, all that love sport, not even only that, like, even just going to YouTube and giving you that one extra view on your music, you know what I'm saying, on your video. But they want to run up, oh, yeah, that's TI. They want to run up and they want to ask you for something, but they can't even name a verse in your song. I ain't gonna say a verse or what they can't even name just a lyric, just a, just a piece from your song. Only thing they know is that. That that you T out that you this Pacific artist and yeah you got money so I'm gonna run up to you with my hand expecting something yeah, yeah expecting something like nah. Twitchy said she ain't answer the question about a, if she mess with a dude let somebody call in and answer the question. Four zero seven nine zero six four 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 zero. That big money asking what's the topic? That ain't the topic. Yeah right there four zero seven nine zero six four 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 zero. She got all the females calling in, getting they flirt on. The dudes intimidated. They like, man, I ain't even calling after that question. Got me fucked up. <laughs> you know they ladies probably be too, you know? Nah, I'm going to tell you the reason why niggas ain't calling in. Because they feel like like, like you you on the, you messing with the girls. So they feel like they they think you pretty. They going to feel like all oh, niggas going to got jokes on them. But... Fuck them. I don't seen you dressed up like a girl. No, <laughs> 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 nah, you ain't talking about you ain't, you ain't hearing what I'm saying. She don't always dress like a girl. Oh, I know. Sometimes I she'll thug it out. So 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 when she out. so when she thugging it out, you know dudes don't be on dudes don't be on that. They don't know how to approach. No, nah, they, they just approach me when I be thugging yeah, they out, gonna, though. I, I, I know, but they ain't going to put it on blast that they be approaching. I mean, they have a couple of undercover. <laughs> exactly. You get what I'm saying? They don't know how to approach me. Like, like I told you, like, to this guy. 4790644440. Exactly. My style is like... I feel like only I can do my style. My style been me since a kid. Like, this ain't nothing that just came overnight. Like, my mom's gonna tell you, I always look child. I go in there and put on what I want to wear to go wherever we finna go. Like, if I can't wear what I want to wear, like, I'm staying home. Like, my style pretty much came from, like, watching a lot of my idols and stuff. You who know are some of your idols? Oh, man. Lil Mama, Tiana Taylor, the Brats. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take you back. <laughs> like, Seattle, Aaliyah? you know what I'm saying? Like, Aaliyah, most definitely. Like, so, you know, when you think about these styles, what are the same thing I'm doing? It's the same thing they did back then. These women with baggy pants and all that, and still at this damn time, they still got husbands. You know what I'm saying? Like, what about even Escape, that? like, all, all right, that, yeah. like, Escape, TLC. Hold on, we got a like, call coming in. Big money call. Call. Man, call. <laughs> you know, hello, what up, bitch? Hey, what's up, what's up? We're good. You got... <laughs> I tell you what's going on. We trying to get that question out of Twizzy right now. <laughs> what's her name? Twizzy. Go ahead. She right here. Tell them your name. My name's 613 Twizzy, man. What, what, you, what you trying to ask me? <laughs> I'm interested in guys, but I'm interested. Let's clarify when we say guys. Like, I'm interested in grown men. Like, okay. That, that should... You <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you say you're a grown man, a lot of people say that they're a grown man just because of age-wise, you know what I'm saying, or materialistic things like, oh, I'm a grown man because I got this or I got that. Like, 
No, when I say a grown man, I mean if you strip from everything that you have that defines you or that puts you on your high pedestal, how well would you be able to withhold yourself as a man? Like, little boys gonna break. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's off the top. Don't be the ones that run away from problems and all that. Like, when I say I date men and I like men, I like men that, you know what I'm saying, they come with knowledge. They come with more than just the materialistic stuff that y'all be so turned up about. So you're right. A lot of y'all can't even run up in my face. Damn. <laughs> God. Damn. Go ahead, Big. What you guys say? Hey, you might got a chance then. Okay, how would you say you grown? What what about to say you grown? Let me ask you that. All right, so during that time, when you during that time, what was your head to for you to say that you grown? Shit, I, I, I came back. You came back. When you say when you say you came back, what what you saying? You, when you say you came back, what what are you saying? Because I see a lot of men come back, but they come back with pretty much like breaking down and tearing down our women. Like you know, what I'm saying that's what make me love women. You get these broken ass niggas. You know, what I'm saying that be sleeping at their mama house and all that and they come across a strong black woman that's already on her shit, doing her shit and they come in and they pretty much break them down with trying to portray this stuff to be a man when they really ain't a man. Hold so on, Bill. We about to kick her out, man. No, we about to kick her out. We about to kick her out. Where's she going in, boy? We gonna let them talk. We might need you. We might need you on the dude's side. We might need this one outside. You go ahead. Okay, I don't know if, if, if some of y'all in here that have been in jail, I don't want to get into none of y'all background or none of that. But more of the story, what I'm trying to tell you is here, you can tell a little boy, because like I said, when they script from everything that define them as a man, like, and I don't mean to There's come on your behalf or none of that or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You in the street, so we both see the same thing. Mm -hmm. A nigga will throw on a piece of jewelry and feel like he a man because he got that chain on. But let's say the cracker was ever come to something, you script them. Everything that defines you as a man, as in this day and time, because everything is all good, when you still be able to be a man, you done seen someone on bowling before. I feel you. I, I, I want him to kick y'all the no show. Man. I That's feel you. A man still going to be him, whether he got these materialistic stuff to back him or he don't. All right then, so you a man, and I and I like that. Now you answer my question that I sent that you back. <laughs> you say what they, what they can't take from you is something that makes you a man, exactly. But like I just told, that, 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 that ain't for negotiation. My manhood ain't up for negotiation. I'm but a lot of a lot of them it is, and that's what I clarify is I date men. I don't date little boys. Like that's off the top. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be the same you whether you up, and you gonna be the same you whether you down. Like. And that's off the top. Like, I care less for them to run up on me with their jury or their cars and all that, because that's what we got going on now. They, a man wants you to date them based upon what they have. You know, they want to come up and they want to show you this and they want to show you that. At the end of the day, I'm a female. You're going to get that understood. I was left with six kids. I raised all six on my mama went to prison. I could have done a lot of things as a female. I could have sold pussy. I could have been a stripper. I could have been anything. I chose to hustle to bring my mama home. I did that, and I did that without a man's help. So when it come down to it, and it's actually clarifying, it's actually said, it's like this here, like, I don't have time for games. So it's like I'm at a point of elevation. Like, when they, when we first started this interview, they asked me, they said, well, what made you start rapping? Like, I been with supposed to do this. Y'all been with supposed to hear about me. I had to sit back. Don't worry about it. I don't mind sitting back. What's your name? Man, I'm 613 Twister, man. <laughs> what, what can I find out on, on Facebook? Where I find out at? Man, you talking about what can you find out on Facebook? Go to IG. No, I'm saying your name. Okay. She said go to IG. 613 underscore twisted. T W I S S Y underscore. <laughs> don't see who you talking to. It ain't about who you talking to. It's about what you going to understand after this call. You call me. <laughs> 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 I just, I just made a, I had put a post saying that, um, black men get mistreated. They don't got no money. 
You seen that? Because that's pretty much like it fall back on the music that you listen to. Like I told you, like For real. It, it, it's it's how you put it. Like, but that's how they run. That's how men run up. It's not us females' fault. It's how men run up on you. They run up on you. They want to pull out a couple dollars. Then they want to say, "Okay, you want is my money." That's how you ran up on me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The meal with nothing but three dollars. You got to pull out all these booze. Cool. That's what you wanted me to go from from the get go. You wanted my attention with that, so it's like this: as a black woman, watch how you run up and capture their attention. If you want to capture their attention with all your jury, make sure that you' gonna be able to keep all your jury. Cause moment of time, shit gonna get rough, and all you gotta let that go. It's always a nigga out there buying a new chain and putting it across their neck. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna they, they gone. Like they gone. that's what it is. So you can't get mad because. That's how you ran up on them, and they prefer you to keep it like that. Like, come on, like, that's just like if a female ran up on you with her body like this, but over time she done had kids, you know what I'm saying, that done changed. What you gonna do? You gonna be out there been looking for the next <laughs> the same body that she used to have. Like, because that's what you ran up on, on her for with the purpose of her body. Like I said, everybody coming to your life for a purpose. Like, mm-hmm. they in yeah. your face, they talking to you for a purpose. Whether they some come man. in to take you through some shit. I've I mean, or they coming to change what you've been through. Some man, some exactly man, some man on, some man on what you on. I, I need a grown woman. Ways, right? Like, like you could run up on me with some thick old thighs, and you, and you got your mental right. And then you get your Girls entertain right. that shit. Uh-huh. Back into that same chick, she's gonna be all on your ass. But that's but but see that's the chick I don't want. Cause I want the one with the mental right. Like I said, she can have some thick old thighs and her stomach may not be tucked in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good as long as she can massage me mentally, we can ride. If you can't you can't massage me mentally, we can't ride. I'm gonna fall off some somewhere. That set's gonna get boring. That fake ass gonna get I'm gonna get tired looking at that same ass. Not that you can always build your new bitch. Exactly. <laughs> no, like y'all that's like you know one thing that's really going on with females is not the makeup. Like people say yes, yeah, the makeup is the makeup. It's the makeup. It's the ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the like booze. I can I can build me a bitch. I, 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 I let females know this all the time. Soon they're gonna get inside this stuff. I could build me a bitch. See that what side I need yeah, I you on. Like that what side I need on. Let's yeah, go. I could build me a bitch, <laughs> but one thing I can't do is change the way you think. So it's within your mind that's gonna make me fuck with you, like as a female on their tip. You know what I'm saying? But I can put ass and titties on a bitch that think right. Uh. <laughs> I'm just getting an estimate. I don't know. Just, you know <laughs> oh, I ain't hear that. Estimate, what I think it is. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that, nah. She, she, on, she threw out a number. Like, big, it'd be easy. Keep, keep in mind, you can always build your, you can always build your chick, and that's that's what the females point. got to understand. Is that, but you can't build no man. You can't build no man. That's a hotel job. Huh? That's a hotel job on them pump parties. <laughs> Yeah, you still gonna have your pride. Your pride, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the same thing like with the females. Like, I don't care nothing for no ass and no titties, but I can go buy them. You know what I'm saying? Got plenty (laughs) doctors around the U.S. Like, I can go buy them, but I can't change the way you think. Just like you can't build no man, so I never waste my time with a little boy. I just told you in the way they think. Like, I can't listen for ass and titties. I don't give a damn. You had glasses on, baby. You can have, <laughs> you can have like, you can have glasses on, baby. You can have all that. Like, you ain't got to be discouraged. You ain't got to be like, oh, like, oh, she'll never talk to me because I look like this and I look like that. Like, bitches put a makeup on daily, baby. They don't look the way they look. You know what I'm saying? They have to buy ass. They have to buy titties. You know what I'm saying? But they know this here. Once you get with them, no matter how good they look, you notice this here that you can't change the way they mind think. Having a conversation with somebody is, carries heavy for me too. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Have a conversation before you pull out any money and all. To have a conversation. In in in, in a female mind or guys don't even pay attention. We tell them why I mind it when they be trying to holler at us. Like when you come up and you trying to holler at a chick or something and you ain't pulled no money out or you ain't show no jury, you ain't show no car keys or something or whatever, and this chick obviously ain't giving you no type of interest, that's because you ain't showing her what she want to see off the top. That ain't the women for you. Some girls be saying? entertaining the dudes, though. They be liking that shit, too. So, like... Because that's where they had it. Mm-hmm. 
That's so, that's what that's it a is. little girl though. Yeah, that's a little girl. Exactly. That's what it had. But for somebody, me person, a, per, a, a person come and approach me appropriately. Yeah, I took off. Turn around, you have on a whole dollar store outfit. I'm gonna grab you by the hand and we finna go hang out because you approached me on the level that you supposed to be approaching me up on. Don't run up on me trying to show me your chain and trying to show me the little couple dollars in your pocket and all. Like, man, I got BBS in my mouth. Like, I can't listen to that. You know, like, so it's like, I, you, you ain't got to show me your Gucci belt. Don't stop tucking your shirts in and all that. Like, you <laughs> that don't show impress me. us. That don't impress us. It, it don't impress us, sure but don't people do me. that. That don't impress me. Oh, you know, man, like, y'all don't lose. Whoever's doing no. that, y'all don't lose. Don't come up here with them belts. <laughs> you can find that. <laughs> Um, Don't come up here with them belts, man. Listen, Take that shit out. That anywhere. That's what everybody on. If you can find someone with some with, with like a good hand on their shoulders and that can really know who they are, we gonna go far. Exactly. We can't go nowhere if you think small. Nope. Hey, so, so you a rapper, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, what you see as your target audience? As my target audience, like. Yeah. And I she got them everybody. babies, boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> touch everybody from the males to the females like if you look into my music like i feel like anybody can jam it you know what i'm saying like i don't want to be putting no music out there or whatever to keep you in the same predicament that you in you know what i'm saying like so i ain't gonna give you no song with no popping no pill popping those hands and all that like i'm telling you the necessities are like but, 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 but you're gonna need a target if you, if you, if you want to achieve success you gotta, you gotta have a goal Man, she got a target, bitch. She got the, she got the, she, man, she just has about two, three females blow up the line, man. They, she got the target. I, can't, I know I can't hit everybody. I can't hit the small minded people. You got to be ready to elevate to listen to my music, bro. So, what, what, what you going to focus on? What's, what, what's going to be your target? What's going to be your goal? My goal, audience, like I just told you, my goal, audience, is to touch females and males. So, you got to be ready to elevate to listen to my music. So that's how I am. Like, that's, 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 that's my target on that. Like, I'm going for both sets. Like, it's not just one group or something like that. I'm going for the ones that's ready to e- elevate, you know what I'm saying, and open their so, mind to, like, some so, bigger so, shit. So, so a college kid at BTU can feel your music and feel what you're talking about? Yes, they can feel my music and feel what I'm talking about if they ever been to the goddamn, been through the struggle and know that if it don't want for mama or daddy, or they would have knew where they would have been if they went in college, or they would have knew where they could have been if they went in college. You damn right, they gonna feel my music. To know that they should be thankful to be where they at in college. Man, everybody, everybody ain't struggling. My son ain't struggling. You right, everybody ain't struggling. You right, everybody ain't struggling. But I know what you been through, sleeping in the back of your car, so you done struggled before. Is what I'm trying to say. So even when you go to get too high and up on your pride, just remind yourself, bro, where you came from. But every everybody struggles in their own ways, though. They might not struggle with finance, but they might be struggling on their test. Struggling the struggler is struggle. You, know you feel what I'm saying? That's why you got a lot of white people that that kill themselves. They got everything in the world, but they still kill themselves because they struggling with well, whatever situation. I'm not no gangster. That's off the top. Gangsters is a is a, is a broke nigga with attitude. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when you get them all run around mad and start beating. I saw I saw you with like a machine gun or some shit. Hey man, I got guns. So anything I carry, I can carry. By law, I can carry. So I don't know if you on here trying to bash me or I'm trying to bash you back. No, but we gonna get it together. I'm gonna tell you, I'm hell. So just gonna make sure you hell. Yeah. What up, Melo? We got Melo online. Melo, we we already shouted out Gil. You don't gotta come see <laughs> that Melo, making sure he shout out Gil. We got we got you, Melo. You know you already get free promo with IV TV. We got Gil tomorrow night, Tuesday on there. We got you, Melo. <laughs> Came too far, pulling up to shows and showing support or whatever. You know, you want to come feeling like you know, you done been through a situation like really this. She don't told me to pull up. But I would like for you to pop up and show you. Come get an autograph. That you too high mighty in your prime, so make sure that you stand. She don't told me to come get it. You know what I'm saying? Because you too good. You done passed your struggle, so you ain't trying to hang around everybody else that's going through the struggle. And you ain't trying to lift or encourage nobody that's going through the struggle. Hey, 
Hey, when is your party? Tomorrow at Gil. Tomorrow at Gil, man. Club lit. Uh, nah, is that lit? Nah, is that? Oh, yeah, lit. Club lit, man. Shout out to Melo. My bad, Melo. That oil kicking in right now. I'm going to show you flyers and everything on my page. Oh, yeah. That's love. Don't shut a flyer. Come show your face. Yeah. Come on. Come hang with me. I'm going to let you know, though, before you come hang with me, I'm still going through the struggle, though, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I love the kids. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going through it. No That's just a matter. He ain't going to hang. I'm, I'm trying to hang with somebody that ain't Hey, baby, man, we about, we going to play some old music, man, so maybe you get it. All right, we about to play it right now, man. Cut it. Come in, she going in right now, man, just chill. I know, I, this, this, this one, dog, this big, man, he, he, go in, man. That's what he do, man, he a confrontational, yeah, that's what he do. <laughs> Oh, you say you well, well, you well, go, well, go, well, go, 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 go research, go research, and then call back. You don't do no research, you can just come with it. I'm telling you, I done been through. Man, we on the air to one. Oh, shit, you about to do what we want to do, man. Hey, man, we do what we want to do, man. Just uh, just do what you want to do, man. Hey, man, that's all this research, man. I told you. I done been Oh, man, go ahead. Do whatever you got to do. Hey, man, you called in with no one question, man. I appreciate you calling in with that number one question. We got it answered. Whatever you got available, I'm going to check it out in the next 20 minutes. I'm going to call you back. He's going to call back as a fan, I guarantee you. All right, I, I definitely want the feedback. I'm going to be waiting on that call. You know he calls back. Oh, yeah, I already told you. He's going to call back as a fan, though. Shout out to all. All right. All right, we bringing it in right now off your tape. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and drop it. 